Well, thank you for watching this video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about how to manage sales tax in QuickBooks Online. And I'll start cover uh, uh, from setup, collect, report, and pay sales tax. And if you have any questions regarding this video or any other videos, you can send us email to sdquickbooks at gmail.com. And you can also visit our website, newqbo.com. I'll show you our website. So here's our website, newqbo.com. So if you have any questions, you can, you can enter it here, ask question. And if you need to subscribe to QuickBooks or buy QuickBooks, you can uh, uh, click here and uh, we have external links uh, to QuickBooks. Okay, so, uh, so I'm on uh, QuickBooks Online. For this video, I'm using Accountant. That's why you're seeing practice. On yours would be just a dashboard, uh, dashboard like this in here. Okay, so uh, on all one you will see uh, sales tax like this one. This is old format, uh, and most likely if you are just starting, it'll be a new format. Uh, it's in here taxes from dashboard. Click taxes. Okay, and the first thing you do is set up. Uh, I already done one or two in here, uh, so basically it will you will ask for the uh, setup sales tax, and then you verify uh, your address, and then uh, uh, then go from there. Then you basically set up the sales tax agency. So if you like this sales tax agency, add agency in here. So uh, just to select your agency. Let's say I want to set up one for Colorado. Okay, Colorado State, and the frequency, let's say it's uh, monthly or quarterly, whatever it is, you know, uh, so you need to verify is it how, how often you file uh, your uh, your sales tax. So if it's monthly or quarterly, so let's say this for this example, it's monthly, uh, and let's say it's starting with January, and let's say this is January 2018, all right. So as you can see here, uh, it's not asking for a sales tax rate. Uh, it will automatically figure out uh, sales tax rate uh, based on the tax uh, agency. Okay, this is all that's, you know, uh, and if you need to change the, uh, from monthly to, to quarterly or quarterly monthly, then you just edit, just edit, you know, anything you want, okay, and then once this is this done, the setup is done, QuickBooks uh, uh, sales tax setup is done, then the next thing you want to do is go to the uh, uh, gear, up gear here, and uh, uh, and you you set up your uh, items, product and service item, and makes it, makes it, makes it taxable. So in this case, I have one sales in here, and uh, uh, make it taxable in here. So here's a box in here, is taxable. And you'll ask for the sales tax category and what to sell. So if you are creating a new one, it's basically just click new and select your product type, inventory, non-inventory service. Let's say the service. And in here, if it's taxable, uh, it's already checked. And then select uh, whatever sales category you have and whatever you sell on taxable. Right here, taxable retail item, something like this. Uh, once it's done, this is just one time thing. Then you can create invoice. All right, so create invoice plus sign and then invoice in here. All right, I will done one here. All right, here's the invoice. You can do that from here, uh, from plus sign, or you can do it from your uh, sales center. Just click that one and the customer, and then create, then. Uh, Underneath, you will see uh, in here, just basically create invoice, whatever invoice you want to create. New transaction, create invoice. You want, uh, I said this is the one you want to create invoice. New transaction, invoice, it will take you to the same place. So I would have done one in here. Uh, it's basically the basic invoice. So the moment you uh, select sales, it automatically, uh, you know, compute the sales tax amount too. Uh, so you don't need to figure out what tax rate or anything like that. All you have to do is put in the address, shipping address, uh, billing, uh, mailing address, and 
computer will compute the sales tax amount. And I have a, a two custom fields I'm using in here. So if you are uh, paying uh, commission to your sales rep or if you want to track sales by uh, state, then you know I'm using the custom field in here. Uh, this is a text field. So if, in order to do that, it's basically from your dashboard, you just go to your gear in here, cut company settings, and then sales and the custom fields in here. This is for the invoice or sales form, like sales receipt and everything. See so right here, is, you, you have three fields. I'm selecting sales trip for one, state, and then internal uh, and external. So if you don't want to print this on your invoice, then just uncheck this. Okay. All right, so I'm done with this one. Uh, save and close. Okay, so now I'm going to go to uh, the sales tax center. Taxes in here. All right, as you can see here, based on that invoice, it's showing its sales tax due. This is right here. It says it's due November 28th. And all you have to do is view return. And uh, let's create a couple more. Okay. So let's create one more in here. You say this is the one for uh, Arizona customer. Okay. And sales. Let's say this is terms net. And let's say this is 2018. Sales January 1. Okay. And let's say this is the Randy and state is Arizona. Okay, let's say this this person this customer bought two. As you can see here, the moment you check this, right now it's saying this. So if you put in the address in here, then it will compute uh, uh, correctly. Let's see, I'm just saying, uh, let's see, address. Uh, Let's say zip code, I gotta figure out the zip code in here, Phoenix, Phoenix zip code. There we go, Phoenix zip code. All right, so 85001, Phoenix. Eight five zero one. okay. So see, as you can see here, based on the address, automatically figure out the sales tax so you don't need to worry about it the 860 in there okay so i'm going to save this save and close okay so i'm going to go back to taxes in here it's already there okay so this one whenever it's due it'll show up in here upcoming okay uh right now it's uh, in november and i did it for uh, january 2018 Okay, so whenever it's ready to pay, just view return in here, and it'll do uh, run all everything in here through sales tax, taxable, non-taxable, and everything. Okay, so right here, three eighty-seven fifty is due, and you still need to file uh, uh, your sales tax uh, on your own. So just go to state website and fill out. Uh, just click it here, and then uh, then fill out. All right, so all you have to do is I'm going to record payment. So, record payment will give you uh, amount and the payment date. Let's say this is uh, 28, and the bank account you want to select. Let's say it's a checking account and record payment. All right, it's paid. So that's done. Okay, so it's paid on 11:20. So this is for QuickBooks only. You still have to do. Uh, uh, payment online whatever or whatever way you're gonna pay it okay so so in order to pay it to clear the account you have to come here and do it from the sales tax center and if you are basically doing it from bank you don't want to add from banking uh, bank fees you know you want to match it like this so whenever you download you need to go to the sales tax report and record payment in here all right, and on the banking center, center, 
Uh, you just need to match it. Don't add in back in center, so it's not going to work. Uh, so you just need to match it here, like this one here. Match it, and that's done. Okay, and if you want to look at the reports, they have a couple of reports in here. I'm just going to show you how many reports they have in here. All right, so taxable liability report. So we have uh, taxable left for the Arizona one. And uh, let's see the other report. Uh, taxable sales detail. So they have basically those two reports. See right here, sales invoice. And the reason uh, I'm showing this is uh, this is the one, sales by customer detail. So that's the report you want. Uh, if you want to see uh, uh, your sales by uh, uh, sales by uh, state. So group by, and then you select and state in here. Rows, so this is the report, sales by customer detail. And since you're using the custom field for state, group by state, and uh, let's see in here, as you can see here, Arizona, uh, 10,000, and California, uh, 5,000. So this is how you get the uh, sales by state. This is the only way you can get it in QuickBooks right now. Okay, and if you just want to see the reports directly from here, taxes, and you can also see the reports from here too, the reports right here. Taxable live review, taxable report, like this. All right, so uh, thank you for watching this video and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channels. We have two channels, youtube.com forward slash PP controller, youtube.com forward slash QuickBooks QBO. And uh, if you have any questions, just send us an email, sdquickbooks at gmail.com or visit our website. It's uh, newqbo.com, it's right here, newqbo. Thank you.